Hi, and welcome. My name is Dan Baker. I'm one of the associate directors of undergraduate admissions here at Wayne Patterson. Um, thank you for attending uh, the session uh, today uh, to learn more about uh, applying um, to our BA in Early Childhood Education Paraprofessional Program. Uh, my job is going to be helping you through the admissions process. And what I'm going to do in this video today is to uh, show you ultimately how you apply uh, depending on what student type you are, right? We have a number of different applications here at, the, at William Patterson. So I want to make sure that you are ultimately filling out the right application uh, so we can get you on the right track uh, through the admissions process. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, it's our ultimate goal uh, to get you to your ultimate goal, right? Of uh, moving uh, on to becoming an early childhood uh, educator. Um, so we're very excited to work with you through that process. So I mentioned there's different student types. Uh, the first uh, student type would be those that have an associate's degree, right? Um, so let me bring us here. Okay, so uh, what I'd like to do is show you uh, if you do have the associate's degree, ultimately uh, which application you should be uh, filling out in the process. So for those who have an associate's degree, what you're gonna wanna do is come to our main website, which is wpunj.edu, and you're gonna click the apply now button at the top and it's gonna bring you to our page with the different applications. The application you're going to look for is the WP transfer application, right? You've already done some college level work, right? So you're going to want to fill out that application. So you'll click on the apply now button, uh, which will bring you into our application. So as you can see here, right, we have your about you section, right? Where you fill in your legal first name, your last name. If you have a maiden name, you also can put a preferred name, your date of birth. Uh, make sure you're filling in your address information. Uh, Check off if you're an, uh, resident of the state of New Jersey or not, which I would assume most uh, of uh, the folks doing this program are. Um, and make sure you put in an email address. Make sure this is an email address, one that you put in the correct one. And number two, it is one that you check often. Um, you have your home and cell phone number there. Okay. Um, some more about us, section, sex and gender, gender identity, religion. Uh, citizenship, uh, again, making sure if you are a U.S. citizen, you, you check that off. Um, if you're a permanent resident, check that off. And not a U.S. citizen or permanent resident or asylum, make sure you do check that off, right? Uh, and then you have to let us know where your country of uh, citizenship is, okay? And if, you're, uh, if you click off the citizen, that doesn't pop up. If you have the permanent resident, it'll ask you if you're a permanent resident or asylum, um, and you can let us know what your country of citizenship is, and then your um, alien registration. Uh, we ask if you plan to file for financial aid. Again, if you do have a social security number, it's important that you put this in here because if you are filing for financial aid, that is how we match files up uh, based on the social security uh, number. All right, so make sure that you do uh, add that in there. Again, some just more about uh, you stuff, ethnicity, family information. Uh, mostly you can leave the parent and guardian information blank. All right. Um, and legacy information. So you'd finish that first page of the application. Sorry about, you're gonna get that button. All right, uh, that'll ask you to fill out an email address. I'm not gonna fill out the application today. So um, this is where you would select, right? The student application type. Now for those with an associate's degree, it would be a new first time transfer student. Okay, um, you're gonna wanna click that. Unless at some point you did attend William Patterson, you would be an undergraduate readmit, right? Only if you attended the university, but most of the students with an associate degree should be a new first time transfer. Okay, um, do you plan to arrive, uh, uh, unroll full or part time? You'll check that off, okay? Living on or off campus, all right? And then this program you're gonna do, please select the program majors within uh, with in-person classes held on our main campus. So you're gonna check that one off. After that, it'll bring, to get, bring up a box where you'll get to choose your major. Now, right now, we, uh, we, because we are moving to a new application, you're not gonna see the choice for the early, hood, early childhood education paraprofessional program. So what you're gonna wanna do is click the early childhood P through three program, all right, as your major. Now, again, you won't have to do a second major, okay, for this program, 
but just to make things easier, right? Um, you, what you're gonna wanna do is come in here and select uh, the liberal studies um, major, okay? Um, so you'll pick again, early childhood, P through three, okay? And then you're going to want to select the liberal studies major, okay? Um, and then you'll plan to enroll for fall of 2021, okay? Um, then there'll be some questions about the reverse transfer opt-out. Um, you know, if you want us, uh, if you don't want us to send grades back to other schools, like again, if you've already finished an associate's degree, you don't really have to worry about this. Uh, the pre-professional programs, again, if you're just coming here for education, um, and then we just ask about your interest in athletics, clubs, programs, and services, the honors college. Once you get down here, you're gonna have to type in your educational history from all uh, institutions attended. Uh, you don't want to just put one uh, school, the last school, the first school. You want to put all of your schools in here, right? And we ask you some questions. So if you have access to your unofficial transcripts, it'd be good uh, to have them at that time. If you took any advanced placement tests during high school, or if you took the CLEP exam, just let us know. All right, if you're a uh, veteran or a dependent of a veteran, and then we do have a short personal statement or essay, okay? After that, you'll be able to save and submit the application at that point, right? So it's very short, simple, and easy to fill out. Uh, make sure that we do not we do not collect a application fee upon submitting. Okay, the application, right? We collect that afterwards, but we are waiving it for anybody in this program. So please make sure you email myself or Dr. Weiland to let us know you have applied. So we can ultimately waive your application, all right, uh, for this program. All right. So again, uh, you can see on the screen right here my email address and uh, Dr. Wyland's uh, email address as well. Uh, the second type of student would be students have a bachelor's degree and under a 3.0 GPA. Okay, you're going to fill out the same application we did, but the only difference is at the top instead of picking new first time transfer, you're gonna pick new first time second bachelor's degree. Again, you already possess a bachelor's degree, right? So we consider you a second degree student. Again, all the other information is the same on the application. Again, selecting the major, you're gonna pick the early childhood P through three, and then the second program of liberal studies as well, okay? Uh, when do you plan to enroll? Fall 2021. Again, everything will still be the same for you. Again, not just the school you got your bachelor's from, right? If you attended uh, uh, two or three or four institutions, make sure you're listening, all schools. Plus, you must submit all of your official transcripts to us, right, from any schools that you have attended. All right, so the uh, associate's degree and the bachelor's under a 3.0 are very similar, right? Again, in the application process. Uh, the one that differs is students that have a bachelor's degree and over a 3.0 GPA, okay? Uh, you ultimately are uh, able to go through our graduate admissions application, right? Uh, to start, ultimately to start this program, okay? So when you go to apply, right? So let's go back up and go to our apply now page. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, sorry, I apologize. I'm having a technical difficulty here. So let's share my screen again. And what we want to do is and go here. All right, so again, you're going to go to the Apply Now page. All right, and then the application you're going to want to select, okay, is the graduate application. Okay, again, this is for students. Uh, with a bachelor's degree and over a 3.0 GPA, you're going to select our graduate application, okay, and to enter the online application is here. I can't go too far into the application because I'd have to create an account, but you're going to want to select as a first-time user to create an account. And you're going to go in there and you're going to fill it out as a graduate non-degree student, okay, and again, the same thing, you're going to let 
myself and Dr. Weiland know ultimately that you have applied and sent that in so that we can make sure we uh, have your application on file and we make any of the changes to your application that we may need to make. All right, so again, here are the email addresses. Uh, again, my email address, uh, bakerd17 at wpnj.edu and Dr. Weiland's email address as well. Um, thank you for listening uh, to this portion of the presentation. Uh, again, I'm here to help, so please feel free to email me at any time uh, and uh, with any information you ultimately need to help yourself through the admissions process here at William Patterson. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Uh, again, thank you for listening to my portion of tonight's presentation. Again, any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Have a great day.